as we talk about overcoming, uh, one of the things that we really want to bring to our hearts in this series is to help all of us as believers understand that we can live victorious over the flesh, the world, and the devil. So you can live victoriously. You don't have to be a defeated Christian. You don't have to be a defeated believer. You don't have to. You can live victoriously every day, moment by moment, victoriously over the flesh, the world, and the devil. So we want to establish that truth. But then we also, as we go through this series, we want to help us understand how to live victoriously. What has God already provided for us so that all of us as believers can live victoriously? Victorious lives over the flesh, the world, and the devil. Now, as long as you and I are in the world, till our final breath, we will have battles. God never said, you'll never have battles. You will have. We, all of us will have. And we will have conflict in all of these three areas, the flesh, the world, and the devil. There will be conflict until our final breath. But the good news is, God has given to us what we need to live victoriously and we must learn how to live victoriously. Bible saying, whoever, that means anyone and everyone who is born of God, you are born to win. You are born to overcome. Overcome what? The world. That means everything you and I have to contend with in this world. The flesh, the world and the devil. We are overcomers. When you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior, it's not just, okay, now I know I'm saved, I'm going to go to heaven. It is true that uh, you, because of your faith in Christ and in His death and resurrection, uh, we are now rescued from eternal damnation and we can now uh, uh, enter the very presence of God. That is true. But salvation is more than just an assurance of going to heaven two important things that salvation includes. First of all, our salvation includes abundant life. So the point I want you to get is this. God has given us abundant life. It's in our spirit. And this life is intended to drive darkness out. So darkness cannot dominate you. Amen. So that's one reason why you can live victorious. Because the life of God is in you. Second reason why you and I can live overcoming victorious lives is because salvation includes victorious living. Salvation includes that. So you and I, who are recipients of God's abundant grace and God's gift of righteousness, He says, you are going to reign in life. You're going to dominate everything Adam put you under. You are no longer a slave. You're no longer in subjection to what the one man's disobedience brought upon the human race through the obedience of Jesus Christ. You will reign. You will dominate. You will have dominion over everything, over sin, Satan, death, everything Adam put us under. You will reign over. Jesus is our model. Jesus is our model. In this world, we are like him. A life in this world is the same as His. As He is, so are we in this world. Is Jesus victorious over the flesh, the world and the devil? Or is He in bondage to any of that? No. As He is, so are we in this world. Amen? That's who you are. And that's what is possible for every believer. But the key is what we read in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. We have victory through our faith. We have victory through faith. As we must learn to use our faith in God to live a victorious life. You can live victorious. You can. You are an overcomer. Amen.